Hello everyone and welcome to Oracle Concepts. Today we will learn how to configure SSH for our Linux server on a win, uh, window VM. Uh, basically uh, what its purpose is, uh, whenever we are logging into a server, we are logging in, into it uh, with the virtual VM box and we are going into server where we are unable to you know, use the mouse properly, we are unable to copy the things properly and we it's, it's good to uh, do these kind of stuffs using Putty. Putty gives us a very good platform to log into the server directly from your system. But for that, what we need to do? Basically, we need to go to the virtual VM box. We have to go to the network. Either you can go from here or you can go to settings and you can select network. Enable network adapter for adapter 1. It has to bridge adapter. You have to select this. Go to advanced. Uh, here, usually it has been um, mentioned as deny good make it allow all and do okay to it once it is done you can start your system make sure that your system uh, and for which you are making network configuration changes uh, should be powered off when you are making these changes and when you will start the system those changes will come into effect so uh, this is the way to do to make uh, network changes now we will see if we are able to log into the server and we are able to uh, connect to the server from Putty itself. How it will help? Basically, we will be able to use the system from our uh, desktop itself. So, log into it with root, root password. Now we are here. I have config to check IP address of my server. Here it is 192.168.1.2. Now, what we can do? We can go to the command prompt pink 192.168 uh, dot 1.2 dot see we are able to ping our server which is inside virtual box now since it is pingable we can copy the IP address go to putty this is the IP address. We can save this session as 01 as a server name. We can use that. We have to do SSH port 22, save it. And when we will log in with this, it is giving me option to log in to the server. So finally, we don't need to go to the virtual box again and again. We just need to power on the machine from here. And once the machine is powered on, you can simply log in. To it with your putty itself from your desktop so it will be easy to use easily you can use mouse you can easily select anything you can easily copy anything and it's gonna be a good user interface so that's it for this particular session uh, keep subscribed to my channel and like my videos to get more updates on Oracle concepts thank you so much everyone bye bye